Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Microsoft Store error code 0x803F7000 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. This says try that again. The error code is 0x803F7000 in case you need it. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in WS Reset. Best match should come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and open that up and give it a moment here. Now I recommend closing out of here and open up the search menu. Type in Apps and Features. Best match should come back with Apps and Features. Go ahead and open that up. In the apps list field, go ahead and search for store. Best match should come back on Microsoft Store. Select the three dotted icon next to it, and then the advanced options button. Scroll down. Underneath reset, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And once that's done, you have a little check mark. I would attempt to open up the Microsoft Store and see if that has resolved the issue. If you're still having a problem, you can try and reset the Microsoft Store. So if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And then once you have a check mark next to that, you can go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And then attempt to open up the Microsoft Store, and again, hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. If you're still having an issue, we can try and run a couple of different command line tools. So open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one's going to be the System File Checker Utility. So go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste in the first command. Hit Enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and copy the second command I'm going to have in the description of the video, and then go ahead and paste it into the command prompt here as well. Hit enter.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem at this point with the Microsoft Store, and you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.